Hello kids, this is your teacher JC and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are interested to learn basic English and math, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated to our upcoming videos. So, are you excited with our lesson for today? Without further ado, let's start! And for today's lesson, I will be discussing about a simple sentence and compound sentence. What is a simple sentence? It is a sentence that has one independent clause. And what is an independent clause? An independent clause is a group of words that makes a complete statement. It expresses with a complete thought because it has a subject and predicate or complete predicate. Example, Elaine is a horrible dancer. Elaine is our subject and our complete predicate is a horrible dancer. More examples of simple sentence. John went for a walk. John is our subject. Went for a walk is our complete predicate. Second, towns are quiet after a snowfall. Towns, the subject, and our complete predicate are quiet after a snowfall. Third example, eggs roll on a counter. Eggs, the subject, roll on a counter is our complete predicate. Next example, silence is golden. Silence is our subject, is golden our predicate. Peace is at hand. Peace is the subject and the complete predicate is at hand. What is a compound sentence? A compound sentence contains two independent clause. In compound sentence, we will be using a conjunction and these are the conjunctions for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. These are coordinating conjunctions. We will be using either of them to connect, to combine, to join our two independent clauses. And you need to remember that you need to put a comma after your first clause since this topic is intended for kids. I will give you examples for and, but, and or. Let's begin with AND. Use AND if your first clause and second clause are connected with each other. First example, Leslie will sing in the talent show, comma, and we expect her to win a first place. Second sentence, they got there early, comma, and they got really good seats. Last example, it was getting dark, comma, and we weren't near the cabin yet. These are examples of compound sentence using and. And remember, Place a comma after your first clause before your coordinating conjunction. Next conjunction, but. Use but if your first clause and second clause are in contrast. First example, Leslie is scheduled to sing in the talent show, comma, but she has strep throat. Second sentence, 
I really need to go to work, comma, but I am too sick to drive. Last example, I thought the promotion was mine, comma, but my attendance wasn't good enough. Last coordinating conjunction or it indicates choices. First example, she cooked dinner, comma, or she went out to a restaurant. Second sentence, I'll have a week in Rome, comma, or I'll go to Paris for three days. Last example, she is going to the movies, comma, or she is going to the mall. Is it clear now? Always remember, simple sentence, one independent clause. An independent clause has a subject and predicate or complete predicate. Compound sentence, two independent clauses connected with a coordinating conjunction. Examples of coordinating conjunctions, remember, fun boys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. And lastly, do not forget to place a comma after first clause in your compound sentence. Do I make myself clear? And that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you have understood our lesson for today, but if you have questions, clarifications, and queries about our lesson, don't forget to write it to one in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer all your concerns. Once again, this is your teacher JC saying, never stop learning. For when we stop learning, we stop growing. Goodbye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.